Imagine waking up every day and not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to go to school, just wanting to hang out in your room by yourself all day. Or when you did go to school, feeling alone, eating lunch by yourself or with your guidance counselor. That's how Emily Trudeau, an eighth grader at Hopkinton Middle School, used to feel before she decided to stop being sad and take a stand against bullying. It started around sixth grade was when I started to gain a little bit of weight and I was I still had some of my baby fat on me and everything and I used to get poked fun of for my weight and everything and then it went in through sixth grade to seventh grade and I lost a lot of friends for it and everything and then this year it was um, it was mainly name calling and stuff and it wasn't in the beginning it wasn't mainly to hurt me but in the end it got around and it did start hurting me and then they just kept going. But rather than continuing to let it hurt her, Emily decided to do something and created a YouTube video. Like my experience of bullying, I thought that if I shared it with people it would make people feel not so alone because I know that when I was being bullied, the one thing that would run through my mind was feeling very alone and I didn't want I don't think that anyone else should feel that way, so I thought that putting it out there would maybe help people realize that they're not alone in this and that a lot of people go through it too. And sharing her feelings resulted in lots of positive feedback. Um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of feedback from mainly, um, from mainly people at my school, people in the town, and a couple people from the high school actually have commented on it. Um, I haven't gotten any negative feedback on it, which is really nice because it shows that it hit home for some people. Um, and I think it really helped some people because I got a lot of Facebook chats after asking for advice and telling me that, you know, you're so strong and, you know, it, it felt good to get a positive reaction from people. And talking about her problem also helped. I think talking about it made me feel a lot better about it because bullying is something people don't really like to talk about. But, you know, I went to guidance, I went to my parents, I went to a lot of my friends and once I kind of opened up about it and talked about it, I felt and I noticed that it got a lot better. And that's one piece of advice that Emily recommends for others. The best thing that I ever did was open up and talk to someone about it. Because that way I got advice from someone and I didn't have all these thoughts in my head, you know, racing around all day of feeling alone or feeling like I couldn't talk to anyone about it. And I went to a couple people and that in the beginning I was really nervous to but after just letting go and kind of venting out to them it made me feel a lot more secure and a lot more um, myself. For kids that are getting bullied now um, my advice to them is that they should not feel like they're alone in it because they're not because a lot of people go through it as I said in the beginning but I think that they know and they feel like they can't go to someone and talk to them about it because they feel embarrassed or they're nervous of what's going to happen if it'll make it worse and that's what I thought. I thought that if I went to Mr. Meehan about it and I went to my parents and my friends that they'd talk to these people and it'd just get worse in the end. But after all it kind of it helped because it made them realize that what they're doing hurts. So my advice to anyone that's getting bullied is that it will get better because it got better for me and it just put me in a much better place now and I've, I'm a lot stronger than I was two years ago but I think that they should definitely talk to someone about it. She also has a message for the bullies. I don't think you're a bad person. I don't think that you aren't going to get anywhere in life. I think that you're all still great people but I think that you, you doing this is setting up a bad reputation for yourself and it's making you it's making you seem a lot um, a lot worse than you actually are deep down and I mean the people that bully me I'm not mad at them I don't hate them I'm not I'm I don't have any hate towards them I just think that what they did is wrong and I want them to realize that they can't do that to people to make a reaction or even if they think it's funny because it's not funny. Today Emily considers herself a stronger person for taking action and hopes that others will work together to prevent others from getting bullied and maybe someday it will be eliminated altogether. It's possible if everyone would work together and everyone would realize that if you 
say things that are hurtful to people that it will hurt them and that is in a result of bullying but I think bullying should have never happen in the first place but I do think that if we all work together on it that it can stop and I mean even not fully because there are going to still be mean people out there but we can definitely work together to help it calm down and to help it stop hurting people as much. Going forward, Emily hopes to use her experience to help others. There's been this program that um, three jun or four junior girls have been putting on at um, our school, and it's called Define Yourself. And um, I went to two of the group meetings and everything, and it really, really made a difference. And I decided that what I want to do for the rest of my life, pretty much, is I want to create a foundation um, for bullying and for girls that have low confidence and help them and um, the girls that run the Define Yourself um, group are Maddie Jawsback, Emma Nyagrosh, um, Alexandra Karp and Ashley Brook and um, or Ashley Brooks also known as Ashley Olson but um, me and Ashley um, all, we both have the same dream for when we're older and she was telling me about it and I said I want to do something like that too and she said so why don't we work together on it so we're kind of partners on a big adventure to kind of make a change in the world for girls and everything to see Emily's video visit her YouTube channel oh hey it's Emily I mean I almost have I almost have 40 subscribers I'm at 39 right now so I'm pretty proud of it <laughs>